The final day of motions for this week took place at the Salinas courtroom. Here's a look at what happened today in Monterey County. Paul and Ruben Flores were sitting side by side once again in court Friday, while four family members from the Smart family filled a row of seats on the opposite side of the courtroom. Most of the day was spent discussing soil samples taken from the Flores' home in Royal Grande, as well as DNA samples from a mattress cover found at Paul's dorm. The defense has filed a motion to keep this evidence from being admitted during the trial. Several people were called to the stand. Forensic archaeologist Cindy Arrington testified about staining discovered on the soil on Ruben's property. Saying from a visual standpoint, she cannot say whether it was an animal or human that caused this staining or how old the stain is. She said at some point the area being analyzed was dug up twice and the soil was put back in place. Dr. David Carter, a forensic science professor based in Honolulu, then took the stand. He is an expert in the decomposition of pig carcasses in soil and says this is the closest to incise to a human when access to human remains is absent. Dr. Carter says he sent investigators to collect 12 new soil samples from Ruben's home earlier this year. The prosecution questioned his method of this collection, saying he did not visually see how the samples were collected and also argued that humans are not equivalent to pigs. In the afternoon, the defense called another forensic scientist to the stand to review certain test results. Time did run out for the courtroom today with Angie Butler on the stand. This motion hearing is expected to resume next Thursday at 8.30 a.m. After all experts and witnesses are called to the stand, Judge O'Keefe will then rule whether or not the evidence presented can be used at trial. In Salinas, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. Paul and Ruben Flores are being tried at the same time, but will each have their own jury. Paul's has been selected. Jury selection for Ruben's case will resume Monday.